Hello everyone, and welcome to this tutorial about working with materials and the materials library. You know from previous tutorials that selecting an object will display its properties in the attribute editor, as if you selected it from the objects panel. To create a new material, click on the create material icon and select create standard. The standard material is the one you will be using most of the time. Now you can drag and drop this new material onto objects directly in the render window. The color can be changed interactively. You can create as many new materials as needed. It is also possible to apply materials through the objects panel. Again, the color can be edited. Creating new materials and applying them to your objects is very easy. Let's see how we can create maps. You can do this by clicking the maps icon here, which will display a shortened list of most commonly used maps. You can also right click on the maps section for a complete list of Maverick maps. Let's create a checker map for example. Now the map is part of the scene and you can drag and drop it, for example on the kettle object. When you drag and drop a map on an object, a list of all the possible connections will ask you which input to use. Select Standard Diffuse and hit OK. The checker map is now used as a diffuse color map. The same action can be done from the attribute editor. Here we can see the diffuse color slot is used, as the slot icon has turned yellow. Clicking on the input slot allows you to access the checker map parameters. Clicking on the navigation arrows moves one level up or down the material nodes tree. Right click on the input slot to disconnect the map. You can apply a map from the attribute editor by clicking on an empty input slot. This will bring the node selection and creation panel. The top part lists all the nodes already existing in the scene that you can reuse. The bottom part lists all the new nodes types you can create. For example, let's create a new checker from the bottom part of the panel. You can return to the material level by clicking on the object or navigating with the arrows. Let's talk a bit about the nodal editor. The nodal editor is a very powerful tool to create materials. You can press the F2 key to switch to the material editing optimized interface. This gives more space to the material editing panels, such as the nodal editor. Let's create yet another new standard material. At any time you can drag and drop a material from the materials panel to the nodal editor. The nodal editor provides the same buttons and icons to create new nodes. Let's create a noise map. The noise map is added to the nodal editor. Now you can simply connect the noise map to the desired material slot, just like this. Apply the new standard 003 material to the teapot. Double click on a node to display its properties in the attribute editor. Change the size, for example. Now we see the noise better. You can drop any existing scene map in the nodal editor and connect it to your current material. To control a map size in Maverick, use an XForm 2D map. Size is also called repetition, or tiling on some other applications. Create a new XForm 2D map, and connect it to the XForm input of your map. The XForm 2D map is used to control size, rotation, and translation. It connects to the XForm input slot of nodes when available. Experiment with the parameters and see how they affect the map. Right-clicking on a slider returns it to its default value. You can directly apply image textures to objects by dragging and dropping from the Windows Explorer onto objects in the render view. The same panel we saw before will show up and ask you in which channel you want to use the texture. Select the diffuse input for example. 
It is also possible to drag and drop multiple textures directly onto Maverick. For example in the Materials and Maps panel. They will be added to your scene maps. You can also drag and drop them onto the Nodal Editor. Nodes can be arranged to your liking by simply selecting and moving them. If the nodal editor view becomes too crowded with nodes, you can clear selected nodes, or clear all by using these buttons. Clearing the nodal editor does not delete anything from the scene. It only clears the panel. When editing a material from the attribute editor, you can reveal it in the nodal editor by clicking this icon, or by pressing the N key. You can drag and drop an existing scene map to use it for this material. Like this one that we will connect to the specular color. Double click on the material to show its properties in the attribute editor. Let's not forget to enable the specular reflections by raising the weight slider. The specular color is now controlled by a texture, improving realism by adding variation. You can automatically fill the X form inputs of all the maps connected to a material by clicking this icon. Nodes are often collapsed in their compact form by default. You can expend them one by one by double clicking on the plus minus sign. Or expend and collapse all nodes at once by clicking the expend or collapse nodes buttons. The X form node previously added now controls both maps at once. It can control as many as you want. It is a very powerful way to control the tiling of several textures with just one node. Now let's take a look at the materials library. Maverick's library is pretty extensive with over 1500 materials presets sorted in various categories like basic, cars or ceramic. Some categories have subfolders which you need to expend to access the content. Let's apply a fabric material to the kettle. Or a ceramic. All it takes is to drag and drop the material of your choice over your object. You can also drag and drop materials from the library to the objects panel. Switch to the full interface by pressing F1 to bring back the objects panel. And directly apply materials onto objects names. It's just that easy in Maverick, select materials from the library and apply them to your objects. With Maverick's extensive materials library, you can quickly get a great render. The library also has a maps tab. You will find dirt maps that can be used for example in a materials specular roughness input to add variations and imperfections to the surface. Drag and drop one of the dirt maps and connect it to the specular roughness input. The roughness level is now controlled by a texture, adding variations for improved realism. Experiment as much as you want with that workflow. The library also has a colors collection. You will find the entire Pantone and RAL libraries, as well as many custom collections created by the Maverick render team. You can drag and drop colors onto materials color inputs, or directly onto objects which will ask you in what channel you want to use the color. The library also has a favorites tab which lets you save your favorite or most used materials, maps and colors. Select a material for example and right click on it to add it to your favorites. You can add as many as you want. This works for colors too. Now the Favorites tab shows a list of fabbed items. The favorites are grouped by kind, such as materials and colors. You can remove favorites one by one the same way you added them, or all at once by clicking on the Clear Favorites icon.
That's it for this basic introduction to working with materials in Maverick Studio. Thank you for watching this video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.